Hello, I'm Pippa Norris. We're very lucky to have today with us, at the very beginning of 2013, Sir Bob Kerslake, the head of the civil service. Now, Sir Bob has come to MOD Main Building today to meet and talk to some of our staff and to discuss some of the key changes and points of the civil service reform. So, Sir Bob, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you've, you've already visited the headquarters for the Army and the RAF last year, and now you've ended your tour of the MOD with a trip to Main Building. So, first of all, tell me, what are your key impressions of the MOD? Well, Pippa, I've had a great afternoon. Uh, we started off with the senior team, talking about the issues for them. I then met the uh, transformation team, uh, the best practice team, uh, and then m finished it off with a a talk to a group of staff, over 200 staff, and we had a very lively debate uh, after that. Uh, what I found really is a, a very big and complex organisation going through a very important change programme, because clearly what Defence does is massively important to uh, this country. Uh, I think there's a lot of thought and organisation gone behind that change programme. Mm. It's not going to be easy. Uh, it never is this scale of change. But I do get a sense in which there's a clear sense of direction and purpose uh, now in place. And what I'd say here is that the change that's going on in defence is now something that's happening across the whole of the civil service. So defence is not alone in this. Uh, we know that it's a big issue for every part of government. Uh, and uh, it's incredibly important we get it right. I think the civil service has huge strengths. I've seen hugely impressive things in, in defence, actually, yeah, but, and, and particularly important to recognise the civilian staff and all of that. Um, but we know we've got some big challenges as well, and uh, change and reform is going to be the story for a, a while to come. Well, I heard your talk earlier on. It was, it was really very interesting. But for those who are deployed around the world, who work in other buildings around the country, and who just couldn't make your presentation today, could you summarise the key points of your, of your talk on the civil service reform? I'll do my best to summarise in a few minutes what I did in 20. But I think the first point to make uh, is the importance of change and the need for change. Uh, secondly, to say that we're more likely to get this right if we work together across the civil service, departments working in collaboration, identifying the common issues. And then I went on to talk about the reform plan that we published in June and what were the key elements of it, particularly four key themes. The need to be a more unified single civil service, to find the best practice and make it the standard across the whole of the civil service to achieve economies of scale in what we do. Um, a more open civil service that uh, uh, is open the way it runs itself, but more open and transparent with the public as well. Um, a more accountable civil service, and particularly a strong performance management system that recognizes good performance, but also tackles uh, underperformance as well. And then finally, ensuring that we have the right skills as a civil service to do the job that we're going to have and particularly knowing where we need to get better and I think if we do all of that uh, we will have a civil service that will meet the needs of government that will respond to the challenges the country faces and will be smaller certainly but will be stronger as well as a consequence. So lots of challenges ahead for us, mm. but we've re just received a letter from you about pension increases yes. in the contributions next year. Um, on top of a three-year pay freeze, what are your messages for civil servants? Well, I think, uh, of course, this is a, a challenging time for, for everyone uh, in the period where government are needing to make some pretty tough decisions. But it's important to recognise that notwithstanding these changes, uh, the civil service is a good employer. It's still, uh, by comparison to almost any... Uh, organization offers a good pension and good terms and conditions. Uh, but the reality is that alongside these fi financial challenges for government, we are all living longer. Uh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but inevitably, if we want to have good pensions going into retirement that are fair and affordable for government, something has to, to change. And although it's tough at a time when pay is also being held back, I think it's right and proper that government takes action to to uh, do the things it's having to do. So Bob, thanks so much for your time. It was Thank great you. talking to you. Thank you.